Stefan likes red. Let's see something. What's mommy's favorite color? Yellow. <laughs> You're so smart. High five. <laughs> so my favorite color is actually gold, but they don't know gold, so I just say yellow. Um, cause when I show them gold, they kind of like, uh, they look like yellow. And so I'm just like, yeah, that's same thing. Same thing. He has a really good memory. I cannot tell him that we're going to do something and not follow up on that promise. Stefan has a great memory. Um, another question was how do we tell them apart? They don't look alike at all. Antonio is an inch shorter, but he is also like a little bit, he got a little bit more meat on his bones. Stefan is more lean and slim. So what do they know? Tonio and Stefan both know all of their colors, um, including like lavender and turquoise, which is crazy. They know their numbers. They can count to 30. They know all their shapes, right? You know all your shapes? What shape is this? A circle. And they also know an octagon. <laughs> I don't have an octagon in the room, but they know an octagon. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is what started off their learning journey, I guess you can say. Blue. That blue. is that is blue. Good job, baby. Preschool prep. Um, red. I mean, it's red. amazing. Red. What's red? red? Comma. Huh? Talking about punctuation marks. <laughs> He's saying comma. So this thing starts off with the letters and it goes all the way to teaching them like up to level three sight words. Right now we are on level one sight word. I think they could be ready to go to number two, but um, I don't know. I haven't tried it yet, but they can definitely read their sight words. So their favorite show right now, they're really into PJ Masks. PJ Masks is Tonio's favorite show. And Stefan likes Paw Patrol more. Peppa Pig. We associate Peppa Pig with bedtime though. So whenever Peppa Pig come on, that's when they know, okay, it's time to go to bed. They love Peppa Pig. It's crazy. They know every episode. No, hey, that's mine. They are into movies. Tonio's favorite movie is um, Trolls. When it comes to Stefan, Cat and Hat is his favorite movie. That's the movie he always wants to watch. Tonio go up for Trolls like he don't play when it comes to Trolls. <laughs> Most stubborn. That would definitely go to this one. Tonio. He will really ignore you. Like, it's an art. You will be talking to him and he just, he acts like you are not even in the room. He doesn't hear your request. He's unbothered by many things. Very stubborn. He wants to do it when he wants to do it and you're not going to tell him any differently. And this one asks, what does each one do that resembles something that mom and dad does? Well, Tonio hums and ironically enough, Duran hummed when he was little. Like he hummed when he ate, hummed when he was sleepy, just everything. And so Tonio hums nonstop. He's slowly getting out of it because we're doing a lot of training with him. My, my dad especially. Like I owe a lot to my, my parents who are working with them. Stefan. <laughs> Stefan does a lot like me. He doesn't like being told what to do either. He wants to do it when he wants to do it. Stefan is not a morning person by any means. And that is me. I'm not a morning person. What is it, baby? What is it? Huh? You can't find what? What can you not find? A rose. Huh? Rose. Mom. What? Mom. Come here. Tell me what you're looking for. I don't know. Come, come sit with me. They definitely do have their own identity. I like they they associate their identity with colors. So they have like special cups that are certain colors. They find he'll only want the red cup or the red plate like he associates like that's my identity that's tonio's identity if you try to give him something of tonio's he will get very upset <laughs> potty training update yeah y'all like we are not there yet i'm trying but with potty training consistency is key my parents they are really trying to help because they're the ones who watch but they, you know, they try bribing them with 
PJ Masks t-shirts are like their favorite things and they just, they won't do it. Stefan will, he will actually tell me, you know, oh, I have to go to the bathroom or something. And that's because he knows he'll get a cookie or like a lollipop of some kind. Um, so yeah, if y'all have some potty training tips, would love to hear them. Just drop them in the comment section because we need help. I'm thinking about getting them this watch from um, Amazon that like does the whole little timer and stuff. I've heard some good things about it. So I think I may go ahead and order it. But uh, no, come bring it here. We're trying to get come, No, you come here. Come here. Are you supposed to be putting stuff in your mouth? No. 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 Are you supposed to eat crayons? Are you supposed to be eating crayons? Do we eat crayons? Eat. No. We don't no. eat. We don't eat crayons. So we are really trying to work with him about not putting stuff in his mouth. No eating crayons, okay? Okay. Okay. Um, now, when it comes to daycare, they will possibly start daycare um, in August when they turn three. So, at the beginning of the year, we were about to put them in daycare because Deron's parents um, decided that they were going to go back to work and could no longer watch them. So, we started looking for a daycare, but y'all... <laughs> I don't trust daycares. Let me explain myself when I say that. Because I know there's a lot of people who own daycares and they get offended with that statement. And I'm not talking about your daycare. You probably have the best daycare out there. I'm just not to the point yet to where I'm ready to put them in a daycare. I hope that doesn't offend any daycare owners yet, you know? Maybe I need to check out your daycare, so drop your link <laughs> if you're in the Dallas area. You just, you hear things with daycares. I know for sure, like, kids get sick so easily when they go to daycare. Then you just have the abuse. I, it's like every time I get to the point of, okay, I'm ready to put them in a daycare. Literally, y'all, I will turn on the news and it will be like daycare investigation for shaking a baby and it's crazy i'm like is that a sign so i just want to wait until they are old enough to really communicate and like talk and tell me what's going on and i think at three we may be able to really communicate and that's when my parents said that they want them to like go ahead and get into a daycare to get around other kids because i know it's good for them we went to go visit some daycares and they were really nice like they didn't even you know give off any bad vibes or signs it's just that I wasn't ready you know and I didn't feel that where it was like okay I want my babies to be here I want them to learn in this space but that's it. Um, I hope I updated y'all with as much information that y'all wanted to know if I did miss something, please drop your question in the comment section. I would love to answer. I'll answer it in the vlog or I'll answer it in the comment. That is the update for my babies, for Stefan and Antonio. Let me make sure I got all the questions. Let me just run through them real quick. So yes, thank you all for watching the video. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button on your way out. Tony and Stefan, come here. Say so see you in the next video. <laughs> yeah. Come here, Tom Tom. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye. Say see bye. you in the next video. Bye. Oh, you bye. Good job, Tom Tom. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> so after the video, I remembered that I completely forgot to give you guys an update on Stefan's neck. As y'all know, at the beginning of the year, he had like a cyst infection in his neck and we are still dealing with that. He will need surgery at some point, but right now they told us um, that until it comes back, they're not going to attempt surgery, but to just watch it because as soon as we see it start to look like it's coming back, that is the time that they will do surgery. So. Hopefully it doesn't return 
and my baby will be okay. But thanks for watching.